Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Project 1999 EverQuest. And we're in Befallen, back in the front right wing, but hey, this time, I'm going to show you a uh, something you might run up against while you're camping in a dungeon. Um, it's people trying to steal your uh, spots, your, your spots, your, your, your mobs. Uh, so I'm, I've got this totally locked down. I've been doing it for like two hours now here. Uh, about to hit level 11. Uh, sitting in my little corner, killing my, my mobs, my spawns, my, sitting in my camp. If anybody comes in that door and sees me sitting there, right there in front of their face, they should know that, hey, this guy's got this wing. Even if they come in and just, you know, peek around a little bit, I don't mind that. But, um, it's when they run past me, I stand up, and they grab one of my, uh, here comes the guy now. So this little paladin, all tweaked out, or tweaked out. I run in here because I know there's something up, because I've got it locked down. I know what's up. I was about to go kill that. He's in here kill stealing. Kill stealing. So Duck Thor here is a kill stealer. Uh, he likes to run into your camp and take mobs from you. Um, I guess there can be a debate on whether, you know, I don't know, whether whether or not you think that's kill stealing or not. He's got a Mist more Shield. He's level 7, full bronze. Probably has a nice weapon there. Um, I made sure to get the, the uh, good spawn there, the blue um, putrid skeleton, so... Made sure to grab that. He got the Necromancer, stole the Necromancer from me, and the Necromancer pet. Taking experience. I He wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for me in here camping this area. He wouldn't have been able to run all the way that deep into this wing and grab that and kill it. Uh, if it wasn't for me killing a few mobs along the way there. So, I don't know how you feel about that. Put that in the comments. Um... But how you feel about that? I was in here for like two hours, was killing everything as it popped. Usually there's a unwritten rule that if you see somebody sitting on a spawn or in an area doing a camp, camping stuff, you don't just run in and steal their mobs and run away. Um, especially without saying anything. Especially it's so obvious. I'm sitting here, as soon as the door opens, like I'm right there. My pet is parked right on a spawn point of a putrid skeleton. Everything's down except for the two things that you grab. And then I run in there and start killing it. Like, he should have stopped right away. Like, there was many points in that interaction where that guy should have stopped. And guess what? Later on, my pride gets to me, and I die because of that. So, you'll see that in a little bit. So, pretty interesting uh, here situation that happened. Um, and you got... People come in that door all the time because they're looking to see is anybody in there. And 50, it's a 50 50 chance. 50% uh, of the time, they will open the door, see me standing there, and they will turn around and run away or close the door. And they don't come in at all. 25% um, of the time, they'll run in here, look around a little bit, and then run away. And, you know, I killed everything, so there's really nothing for them to see. And they'll realize, okay, he's got this pretty locked down over here. Uh, he's probably camping this little wing in, over here. Um, so then they realize, I don't know if they have bad intentions or not, but there's nothing for them to do, so they run away. And then the other 25% is just like that guy right there, uh, who think they own the world and can do whatever they want, even though I'm camping this spot, uh, runs in here, and, uh, just starts grabbing stuff. Even though he sees me, he sees my pet there, that's one warning. Uh, he sees me sitting in the corner, that's two. Uh, he sees everything down, that's three indicators that I'm camping this area. He runs in there, grabs the stuff. He sees me jump up and run in there and start, you know, trying to kill one of the things that he's grabbing. That's just like a huge red caution, like, blaring in your face that I'm camping this and I don't want you in here doing that. Uh, so he could have stopped at that point, but he didn't. He continued to kill the necromancers and he would have continued to kill the future skeleton if I didn't hurry up and the ward undid it down uh, and get the experience myself, so... In the end, what did he take from me? One little spawn, the Necromancer, but he was trying to take two, and later on I die because of it. You're going to see that. Just because of that little interaction that you think is over, <clears throat> it's not over. Um, I let my pride get to me, because I'm thinking, I'm seething right now. In my in my head right now, I'm like, 
if I get a chance, I'm going to go find where he's at, and guess what? I'm going to start stealing stuff from his camp. How about that? That's what I was thinking in my head. Um, Because I was adding stuff to my uh, little camp over here, but this guy had just run in. I hadn't seen him for two hours. He just run in. It's not like he's camping something else and looking for an extra thing to pull, and he's been here doing this. No, he just ran in the zone, and he's already, like, stepping on toes. It's like an unwritten rule. I mean, it's how, how do you feel about it? I don't know. Put it in the comments, but I was obviously camping this area, and dude runs right by my pet, runs right by me, runs right by a bunch of spawn points that are obviously down and being camped, and then runs in a room, watches me hop up, and run into the room with him, before him actually, because I knew what he was going to do, and I knew what was up. So I ran in there before that guy, and he still ran and grabbed that stuff. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure, right? As soon as I saw his stupid face, I hopped up and ran into that room, because I knew what was up. I probably shouldn't have done that, because maybe that gave him a clue as to where the mobs were. Like, if I didn't hop up, maybe he would have ran in that right-hand room first, and then I could have ran into the left hand and killed that stuff real quick. Well, I bet you he still would have tried to kill steal it. And I can't hit three things at once, so he probably still would have, the same outcome probably still would have happened. But I think I got the better of it. I got to kill the, the, the better mob, the Putrid Skeleton, which was worth more experience. It's probably a blue mob, not a green. Um, but he did till, he really did take two from me, because he killed the pet and the Necromancer, which are both worth experience. And I've been camping for two hours straight. Watched people open the door, see me sitting there, and run away. That's what you're supposed to do. Even come in, say, hey, what's up? Are you camping this? And I'll say, yeah, I'm camping this. Uh, or run around, look, see what's up. You know, maybe you've never been in here before and you just want to see what's in here. Maybe you just are looking around. That's fine. Maybe you have no bad intentions. But a lot of the time I think they do and there's just nothing up because I'm killing it as soon as it pops. And they have nothing to steal. But this is a low-level dungeon. I mean, people don't know what they're doing yet. So you kind of got to give them a benefit of the doubt that he probably didn't do that on purpose. But then again, he was fully twinked out. Fully twinked out. He had a full bronze, a Miss More shield. I mean, the full bronze is one thing. Like, that's not the, the greatest ever. But it is a pretty common uh, armor to, to use to twink uh, your low-level, like, tanks and whatnot. So then a Miss More shield, that, I think that's what that's called. That's a little bit uh, twinky. Um, more than bronze, at least. And I'm sure he had a pretty awesome hammer there, too. I didn't inspect him or anything, because I didn't want to get next to him. He's an idiot. Um, but yeah, it's going to cost me in the end. Now I'm trying to go out and pull even more stuff, because I lost one of mine. And I was trying to do that anyway, because this little front right wing is a little bit, uh, like, a little bit of downtime. Like, I'm, I'm probably right on the edge of it giving me experience, so it's not, like, the best experience ever. It's just nice and steady safe as long as I don't go outside of the box and try to do way too much as long as I don't get too extra uh, I don't die but it's when I get extra or when I'm getting emotional um, if I had just sat in my little little spot and forgot about what had just happened there I would have been just fine but you will see here shortly what happens and um, I was like I said I was trying to add to the to the camp. Like, when if I open that door right there in front of us, there's two spawns there. There's a wimpy skeleton and another, I think either a large skeleton or a putrid skeleton spawn point. So I was trying to grab that and add to my camp. And I got it a couple times. Um, so I really was trying to add that to my camp. Even the wimpy skeleton. I was trying to take the wimpy skeleton, the large skeleton out there in the main hall, and then anything else I could see, you know, as I had some downtime. Like, right at this moment is my downtime. I'm waiting on a couple plague rat rats to spawn in that room where my skeleton is. And uh, so while I'm waiting, I'm looking around. And uh, I'm like, okay, where is this paladin? Uh, I want to go steal some of his stuff. If he's going to do that to me, an eye for an eye. And that's probably not the best way to think. But uh, I don't know. If you, come, if you, if you spend my block and, and shoot shots at me, I'm going to come spend your block and shoot shots at you. That's just how it is. So if you're going to come steal one of mine. I'm going to come try to steal one of yours. So I did that. Uh, you see him up there on, in the entryway, though. I don't even know what he's doing. But he wasn't back there where I took this mob from. Um, but I have the misfortune that the uh, plague rats popped in that room where my pet is. So he's in there fighting the two plague rats while I'm trying to fight two skeletons. And um, 
I don't know, I must have got two uh, blues or, or even a, a white here. There's a large skeleton, which is, uh, I think, a little bit harder than the putrid skeletons. I'm fighting off two at once by myself. Look at that health. I'm trying to burn that large skeleton down uh, with Ward Undead. I probably should have burned down the putrid skeleton because it probably would have went a little faster. Killed that. Look at my health. I'm almost dead. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to life tap as quick as possible. But all of that, all of this happened because of uh, that guy kill stealing me. And my emotions got the better of me. And I went looking for uh, for him to, to, to do the same thing back to him. And it didn't work out for me. Even though I almost went here. I killed the large skeleton. But here comes my pet too. Gosh, it was so close. I was trying to back away, but he still got me. That was super close, you guys. And I lost my level too. I hit level 11. Uh... Probably on that large skeleton that we just killed there. And then I lost my level to the future skeleton in the same pool. Pretty funny. I just thought that was a good, nice, funny little thing that happened. A nice, interesting thing. A person kill stealed, and then I went looking for him, and I died. So don't get emotional. If you're if you're doing something, you're camping something. Um, just keep your just keep your calm. Uh, do your thing. Don't go looking to be extra just because somebody else is. Um, if he had, he might have kept coming in in that door. I don't know. So it, it might have started a whole beef. But I pretty much went back, got my corpse, and camped for the night. I was even a little bit embarrassed to be honest because he probably saw my corpse laying there after he did that, and I, that's just annoying. So anyway, like, share, subscribe. We'll probably not be in that spot next time. I have a different uh, camp I want to show you, but uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot, and I'll see y'all next time, peace.